Hello and welcome to episode 168 of the Game Brew Podcast, the bi-weekly video game podcast where we sip delicious beds and discuss video games. I'm your host, Dan PSN Rots, and I am joined by Carrie Riot ID Bowen. Text Toxic Screamer123. Chris EA Origin writes. Origins like so five years ago, Dan. <laughs> and Allison Microsoft account Van Dievender. I don't remember my password. I'm going to have to reset it for the 487th time. And on this episode <laughs> of the Game Bar Podcast, uh, we asked the question, do we really need a new account to play our games? Uh, but yes, yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, but <laughs> that's it. Show's over. That's the second one in a row where we would just been like, it's done right away. Starting Good from- night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining um that, that's a record in the podcast the way we always end every podcast <laughs> which is saying <laughs> good night every- everybody but it's still the beginning <laughs> um but first before we start any talking any about stuff hi everybody uh it's time for a bev if you have your bevs crack them now mm. and uh let's let's figure out what we're drinking uh it's memorial day weekend so is, the- can i start just for the sake of making my drink and then yeah come back. yeah okay. go for Sorry it to make this a difficult experience but uh allison if anything i know you make everything difficult so i'm not really Damn. it's fine it's all good wow. wow no don't leave wow. we finished the podcast already. no don't leave like, oh. then the, then there won't be four boxes and <laughs> yeah. i can't and it's it's I'm dead sorry. to take up as much space this is, oh, no. this is your fault and you have to reap what you sow this okay? will not stand all right uh <laughs> So here was my thought, and I think it's a, probably a bad thought. So I wanted an opinion. I sat here and I went, I want to have a red, white, and blue drink. But I really just, what does that mean? I don't really have things for it, right? Because it's Memorial Weekend. Right. Um. So the best I could do is I have this Bombay Sapphire Gin still. Okay, that's blue. But I, I did Ooh, not drink pretty. for the 24 hours, so I don't really right. know how it tastes. Um, it tastes like gin. Tastes, tastes like, like gin. gin, pretty much, yeah. But then I'm like, uh, red and very classically American would be a Coca-Cola. Ooh, I like that right? it has Daredevil on it too. D-D-D-D. That's the Flash. It's the Flash. It's the no, Flash. It's the Flash. Oh, it is Daredevil. There, I'm so sorry. I'm pretty blind. As, as a person with the with the letter D <laughs> as part of your name, I would expect you to recognize the letter D. Well, there's not two Ds. There's only one D. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. So that's my thought. And then I don't really have anything white except me. Ice. Uh, does that work? Put some yeah. ice in it. Oh, oh yeah. so you, tur- you turned like the the, the brightness in. of the light in front of you up yeah. all the way. Um, I, I thought it was <laughs> it's supposed to auto fix, but I just didn't have time to reset it. So we're dealing with it washing me out. So that's my drink, and yes, there is ice in it. If that qualifies, if not, I qualify. But I think this will probably taste really bad because yeah, it's it? absolutely going to taste gin? not good. Yeah, and it's. Quote, it's do it's, I do it? Gin or, coke? Well, you got to. It's America. I mean, it's That's America. America now here, I what uh, my recommendation would be: do a little bit, and then just go no. get, then just go get some whiskey or like some rum, and then turn it into a rum and coke after that. But obviously, that was my backup. But I'm just pouring the whole thing in. Then, okay, here we go. Oh. If, if you guys said do it. I'm doing it. I mean, we got we got like a bunch of practice. We got, I I know. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be um, bad. Okay. In that case, it's gonna take me a second to make my drink. So somebody go ahead and I'll come right back. All right, cool. Let's go. I was, I, I was gonna say though, um, you could have done like blue curacao with grenadine and that could be good. See that on like a, on like some ice, like a like a like a snow. Well that would just be that's just two mixtures. <laughs> <laughs> and ice. And ice. You that's could true. have uh dyed your ice. Blue curacao red. has alcohol in it. And no, it doesn't. It blue curacao is just blue. It's just blue. It's literally just like a blue. Blue curacao is sh- a liqueur. A liqueur is alcohol of fifteen to forty percent. Okay. Well, all right. You're right. You're right. Well, but, yeah. that would have been really good, and I Wait, should have consulted on. you guys first. But instead, I did what Allison does, which is just do it live. But this is I more fun. This is know. more fun. I like reaction. <laughs> reaction oh. takes. You know what, Chris? I was thinking of I get like just the syrup. I don't get like the actual liqueur version of it. There's don't, don't make excuses. I'm not making excuses. I'm just kind of telling you. <laughs> that's what it is. Well, um, we talked enough that I can now drink it. So yeah, put it yeah, put it in your mouth. Ooh, I bet it's bad. I bet it's really bad. Eat that second deviled egg. Oh, it's weird. 
It, because I it ta- it probably tastes like trees, and then also co- it's like licking a licking a pine tree that someone dumped a a coke on. <laughs> Yeah, I can't decide if I like it. Hold on, let me let me do another. It take. could maybe 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 it could taste like, good. Like the spiciness, maybe with all the spices, it's like very spicy. I don't know because there's like kind of spicy flavors in Coke. And we don't really yeah. know what the okay. recipe for Coke is either. So for me, this isn't horrible. I expected it to be really, really, really bad. I did too. Um, I I feel like it tastes like a Coke Zero. Interesting. Which I don't, I don't love Coke Zero. So like I, aspartame. Oh, okay. Yes. It like it's makes it gives that aspartaminess. Interesting. Yeah, because it's like the alcohol. Well, and I let me be very clear um, to people who like things like Diet Coke. Aspartame has a very like foul taste for me, and in here, the rest it's of like, us too. Yeah, it's just not like me. Uh, well, not Chris. Love Chris it. loves it. <laughs> yeah, see, like there's All some about people. It. There's some people who really just don't mind it, but I can't do them. Um, and this is like the alcohol in the gin and the pininess, I guess, um, really is just coming through as that kind of aspartame, like weird flavor. I can't describe it other than that. Um, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just feel like I'm drinking a Coke Zero, which I would do if I had no other choice in life, you know? All right. Huh. So it's not awful. Not mm-hmm. terrible. So the chuggability is average to low? Average to low. You know, actually, I could chug it. Because with aspartame, just like in this drink, which is why it reminds me, it's the aftertaste. Yeah. So, so you drink it real fast. Because okay. if I drink this really fast, I'm I'm not going to have to deal with the aftertaste. You so. just only deal with the current taste. Yeah. This is shockingly not horrid. I am impressed with it. I what's, won't drink it again, but I'm impressed with it. What's the, what's, uh, Chris, in Dimension 20, uh, the, the, the guys uh, messed up Steph Hut from uh, um, uh what's his name do you remember um because it's a very someone's it's someone's but ugly stuff hut someone's yeah but ugly stuff hut <laughs> um uh, but uh, but in that he says well i'm gonna die i'll be dead tomorrow but it's like well today's today so tomorrow uh plug plugs but plugs ugly stuff bug- but ugly plugs, stuff hut. plug i i really thought this was going somewhere else um no uh, we were referring to Something I was doing and but ugly, and I was Mm-mm. about to throw no. you guys through the screen again. No, so I'm don't glad do that we went this direction. We would never. We would never. Yeah. Uh, Conchu Simi says, I miss when Budweiser changed the name of to America for a summer because that was the only way to get me to drink it. I got so that much was, joy from drinking America. That was that was before uh, ever everyone got mad at them. Yep. Not me. Not me. I was say, but the, before the, the wrong drinks, type of people got mad yeah, at them. before the people that were their primary demographic of drinkers yes. got mad at them for it. Um, I'm going to move on. Carrie, what are you drinking this evening? I am drinking, once again, a coffee. Delicious My brew. bean juice. We love mm, we hot do, bean juice. We love a hot bean I juice. Still, I still really want it to be just the juice from like a can of, 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 of beans. beans. Yeah. Um, I would drink that. Um, I stand I, by it. <laughs> he stands by it. Nice. Very good. Uh, I'm drinking um, from Wild Air Beer Works in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Uh, it's called Unhallowed Rights. Um, oh, me? Unhallowed me? Yeah, what? Unhallowed <laughs> Rights. <laughs> You're drinking, Chris. Um, <laughs> it's a cold India pale ale. Ooh. Um, yeah, and it has a HP Lovecraft quote on it. It's very like sort of like Lovecraftian in the way that it looks. It's very Ooh, like very like that's cool. kind of spooky. Um, I don't know why I saw it and I was just like, I'm gonna drink this. We'll see what's up. It's a cold. I, in- I don't know exactly what a cold India pale ale is, um, but as opposed to a hot one, as a hot, uh, hot one. Um, is it colder? Is it colder than the Rockies? It is not. Maybe that's why. Uh, oh, it's just a. It's an IPA that is fermented at a lower. Uh, at a lower temperatures than it was normally used to ferment an ale. Great. Interesting. Well, beans. Um, great. That's it. Uh, chuggability. <laughs> as he finishes the beer. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's not as bitey. I think the colder temperatures doesn't make it, like the hops isn't as aggressive in it. Interesting. So it's still an IPA, 6.5% alcohol by volume, but I guess, Mild to mildly chuggable, pretty chuggable. It's pretty chuggable. Nice. I could do it. And Chris, what's your bev? 
I'm drinking a beer from Firm Brewery. Uh, it's spelled with a PH because I think they like fish. Nice. Um, but they're in a Maryland brewery. It's a this is a collaboration with also Black Flag Brewing, which is kind of pretty close to me in Columbia. Nice. Um, it is called This Is Not the Haze You're Looking For. It's a <laughs> non hazy America IPA. Nice. And it's got two of our friends on it. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love so it. Cute. What a collab. Um, and you guys and have what some they good cans. Today. As they thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on your cans. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I forgot. To <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, they they promised uh, it is not hazy, <laughs> but it, it's interesting though that that I'm just plowing forward, Dan. Um, <laughs> this is I'm why just going we forward. I'm just going forward. Going. It was just it was going. there. I hit it, and then I just kept walking. <laughs> um, you're making it worse. Yeah. Stop. Um, so yeah, I, it's it's interesting because it kind of has the flavors of a, like a hazy, but without the haze. Um, so it's kind of like a, it's kind of got that um, a little bit of that juiciness, not quite as much as usual. Um, but uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, chuggability is. I'm so glad you didn't Hi. spit that out your nose. Hi. 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 Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm sorry. I'm crying. It's hard to, it's hard to, um, uh, hard to continue from there. I just, I couldn't not. Let Hi, it, chug ability. I, I'm sorry. Allison. Listen, listen. <laughs> That's it's, amazing. It's a clippable moment. We'll find it later. Here's the thing. If that was the only thing I ever said that had that moment, maybe it would have affected me more. But honestly, like, so it's just like, say, how do I do this? Like, the worst. Oh, how does it do but, every time? This is her magic ability. Yeah, it's incredible. What's, uh, what's, what's your superpower? <laughs> putting my whole just ass saying, foot in my just mouth put, constantly. Just saying the worst thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, boy. But yeah, so. All right. <laughs> um, uh, let's go to. Uh, let's go to, I'm going to start, um, the <laughs> gray got it. Don't worry. Um, so I'm sure he did <laughs> the cans, <laughs> the cans. I, would be so upset I was, I would have been shocked. If they didn't get it. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I was like, maybe everyone just stepped away for it a took, minute. Cause it's it, real quiet. It, of course not. They were all busy clipping it. It really <laughs> took me like a good 30 seconds to like, for it to just sink in. Um, <laughs> but, um, what are we playing this week? Uh, so two things I'm going to talk about. The first is, uh, Hades two is in early access. Um, so I, I have that, um, and I've been playing it and it is so fun guys. Like, uh, it's really great. As we all know, Hades one, uh, or Hades, uh, a roguelike, uh, uh, what's the, uh, the, uh, top down, not top, not top down. Isometric. isometric it's a it's uh isometric roguelike where you play the son of hades um and you are trying to get out of hades um Is he still big mad about stuff well dad, not, not well uh spoiler <laughs> hashtag spoilers for people who haven't finished hades at all um in hades 2 you play um the sister of uh like the, the, the daughter of Hades, um, who is trapped on the surface. So instead of going up to try and get to the surface, you're going down to try and get into Hades because Kronos came back and like and That's like bad. and like ruined everything. So um so now you start off as uh uh his daughter, which the name is long and it's escaping me uh at the moment, but um so it's great. It's an early access. So a lot of the stuff they're still working on, it's not going to be released fully until like later this year. Um, but a lot of the stuff is really good. There's still some art missing, um, but the play feels really neat. Um, there's like different weapons that you have. Uh, there's a real, um, uh, your like magic that you use kind of like makes a circle around you and it like holds people in place when you do that. So you kind of can, dodge and get in there and do stuff there's different uh different art for the gods that you talk to there's different gods that you talk to like now you could talk to hephaestus and hestia um in it 
Um, you get to go some different places. Uh, you start off because you're one of the, you're a witch technically. So you're like, you're, you're hanging out with Hecate um, in the beginning and you kind of like go down from there. Um, so it's really cool. Um, and then the other one I've been playing is called, is on the Xbox is called chance of Sonar, um, which is a game where you basically get to be, a uh, you get to discover language. Uh, you start out not knowing any words and then you start to like pull like little symbols and words from stuff, uh, from context clues. And then you kind of build the language that people are speaking from there. Um, and then you go to a different place where people are speaking a different language, and then you use the stuff from the language you learned in the beginning to infer things in the next one, and then so on and so forth. Uh, it's really cool. It's a very, it's very, it's a very cool puzzle exploration adventure game. Yeah, that sounds neat. It is. Yeah. It's a, a or, ornithologist. No, that's a bird person. Anthropologist. No. I forget like the what. study of languages. Yeah, I don't remember what that's called. Uh, it's a sort of the pH. Uh, I uh, either way, but anyway, it's very cool. It's on Xbox Game Pass, so uh, I highly recommend taking it for a test run. Um, very Carrie, cool. what do you play? Um, well, my uh, eco seasons are winding down. Um, R- so I'm kind of. Huh? Eco was the one where you are building towns and colonies and trying not to over pollute the earth while you um, try to build up your technology to take out the meteor that's coming to hit the earth. Very cool. Yeah, that's the you can write laws laws and vote on people and yada yada. It's it's a really cool game. Um, And now Ashlands for Valheim has come out. And so I've put up a Valheim server and we're starting to play that again. Um, oh, wow. And I've also put up a seven days to die server because next month it's coming out of alpha. Wow. Yep, Look at that. It is Finally. 1.0. 1.0 baby. It's not <laughs> and, often. And they're anymore. increasing the price. They're increasing the price. Uh-oh. So if you want it for the cheaper price, buy it now. Yeah, buy it now. Makes but. sense, I guess. I don't know. I don't. I don't know that I agree with that, but. Oh no, I don't really. I was. I was. That's why. I, I mean, that game was, is so old. So it's been. Old. It's been out for so long. Um, but it's still fun. I enjoy yeah. it. Cool, cool, cool. Um, very neat. Uh, Chris, what have you been working on? Uh, kind of a lot of the same old, same old. Um. So Hearts of Iron and Total War, so I'm not going to talk yep. about that. But yep. um, I did uh, play, find this game called Sovel, S-O-V-L, which is basically like a digital version of Warhammer Fantasy. So like you create your army and then like you can either play it against other people online or like they, they have some computer matches that you can do. Uh, oh. It's kind of basic right now, but it's also free, which is pretty cool. Oh, very cool. Um, but yeah, it's very much like... Um, like you have regiments formed and like you have to like maneuver them on the map. Um, it's very, it's basically just like a unit is just basically like a box on the screen that like moves around. Yeah. Um, but it. I don't know. It's kind of cool to just kind of uh, mess around with that. I, I didn't play it a lot, but uh, if you're interested in learning how to play, I guess it's called Warhammer, the old world now, but it used to be Warhammer fantasy. It's what uh, Warhammer total war is based off of. Right. Um, if you want to play that, like or, or a version of that, um, it's it's kind of cool to check it out. That's it. Yeah, I'm, they're having a big Warhammer sale right yeah, now. Yeah, the uh, the skulls. Too. Yeah, the skulls. Uh, the Warhammer Skulls Festival. The skulls festival. Yeah, so it's a good time to pick up all your favorite uh, favorite Warhammer Warhammer, Warhammer properties. Yeah um that's cool yeah it looks very it's like very much it's like yeah i want to work with basically just the strategy involved i don't care about miniatures i don't care about like this i don't care about the background all i all i care about is my blue boxes are better than your red boxes well but like it's also like getting flank attacks and stuff like that and and just kind of really about like placement and, and and stuff like that 
Um, and then I've also been playing um, a little bit of Fallout 4. I think I mentioned that last time. But mm-hmm. I was kind of inspired by playing uh, or watching the, the TV the show. The Fallout so. series. Yeah. 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 But yeah, yeah, that's it. Cool. Allison, what have you been gaming with? I mean, not a ton. I, it's really just Ragnarok still. Um, that's it. I don't have a lot to report except um, there's just a... Uh, there have been a lot of changes. We had server merges. Mm-hmm. Um, so smurges is what they're smurges. Called. Smurges is a well-known little shortening of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, we had a bunch of uh, bunch of servers merge into us. Um, I think four, maybe more, four servers merge into us, and um, so now we're dealing with like the influx of people who put a lot of money into this game. I mean, a lot of money. Uh-oh. Um, we thought we had people who had who were called whales or is, is the term for these mm-hmm. people. Um, we thought we had a lot of whales, but unfortunately no. um, we didn't know what that was. <laughs> so now we truly have those whales. Um, and yeah, it's definitely interesting to see the gap in play um, to the people who've really put like every penny you could buy something in this game for into the game versus us who are you know free to play or shrimps in this sea um wouldn't it be krill uh, i think i'm a little bigger than a krill okay so i'd call myself a shrimp scramps um i've put i've put a bit of money in but not not a lot but um definitely more than just like the one thing you can buy which is like a monthly subscription i would call that a krill um i am a krill yeah or pure free to play um, which is I definitely a big a gap, crit. but um, yeah. Um, as of right now, still enjoying the game, dealing cool. with the politics of guild merge potentials and things like that at the moment. So there's just a lot of like figuring those things out and trying to make sure we remain um, casual competitive. Uh, because if we don't change and do something, we're just going to have to flip to casual, casual. <laughs> Um, Because we won't be able to keep the competitive side of things going. So, yeah, we're figuring that out. That's about it. Very neat. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Or Ragnarok, if you're a Dimension Uh 20 fan. Um, The Yeah, so very cool. Very neat. Those are all I'll be playing. Um, So now we're getting to the business part of the podcast, everybody, folks. So I just have to let you know that um, because you're here listening to the podcast now, um, or watching the podcast, rather, uh, we're going to require you to actually also sign in with your Game Brew account. Um, so we're going to send like a push notification to everybody. So just go in. Um, but don't worry, you know, it's, <laughs> we're not going <laughs> to steal your data or use anything. All we use it Definitely for is, not. you know, to make sure it's safe. And then, uh, but also, you know, you can use uh, also, it will link to your Twitch ID, uh, also to your hey, Google yeah, account. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah can I, can I- can I see you back here? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Let me just go over to the side. Okay. Um, yeah. What's up? Hey, hey there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't think we agreed to do this. I, I think. I think it's. It's. A, it's a bad idea. And um, I'm just going to stop you right there. And and we're not. We're not going to have people sign up. For this. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let me hey, just go. Austin, can you come over here for a second? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, Sorry. Go, go to Chris. Can, go over to Chris. You, I'm going to come back further. Okay. Can, sure. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a lot of expenses, and the only way we can get rid of this is so that if we sell data. And the only way we can sell data is by collecting email addresses because cookies are going away. Also, we couldn't collect cookies. So, it, it, you know, it, it's, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, the only yeah. way we can gather data about our, 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 the people that are, are hey, subscribed uh, to us. Hey, Carrie. So, hey, Carrie. So. Carrie, can I see you over here real quick? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. What's up? Um, so uh, this is the story of a lovely lady. Uh, <laughs> the- <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I hate that you're looking. It's really freaking me out. Please stop looking up at me. Uh, <laughs> um, no, we're going to be talking about why everything these days really seems to be asking you to sign in with its own with its own gaming thing. We all know the story. You, you know, you go on. You get a new game. You go in to play it. Maybe it's the new Assassin's Creed that's coming out it, uh, eventually. You know. Um, so you go in, you log into Assassin's Creed, you're like, all right, there's the start menu, ready to play the game, let me accept some EULA agreements, and then it's like, oh, BT Dubs, you also should log in with your Ubisoft account, and you're like, well, I'm playing this on Xbox, I don't really need 
to do that, do I? And it's like, no, 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 you should, you should really, uh, you should really log in with Uplay. And you're like, okay, I guess I'll do that. Um, yeah, but that's like the first one. But that's the first one. And then there's Dude, more. As an old person, this sucks. It really does. Like, we've been playing these games for ever. Uh, and it just seems like there's so many different things you have to log into these days, right? Um, I'm just going to rattle off some. So the ones that you have to log into most of the time are like Activision, your Activision ID. You have to do that. Um, Rockstar and Uplay. Those are two of the big ones that get really annoying. And then EA. Uh, you can link your Riot accounts, your Battle.net accounts, your Epic accounts. If you play mobile games, there's like Netmarble or Hoyover or the Hoyover stuff. Um, Apple, if you play mobile games, that's another one where it always is like, hey, do you want to use your Apple ID to sign in or do you want to use your Google account to sign in? Uh, any any other ones that you think of off the top of your heads that like pop in all the time whenever you're trying to do stuff? Um, I mean, a lot of games have launchers. That's um, true. Yeah. That are a little bit different. But uh, yeah, I, I mean... Yeah, it's on Bethesda, PC. Bethesda had one briefly. They did have one for a little bit. Works, yeah. And that was that didn't last a super long time. Sure didn't. What about Valve? Like, would you consider Valve Steam? its own? Like, yeah. Well, well no, Valve. Well, oh, Valve. Steam. No well, Valve games. But that's Steam. Yeah, but do they have their own, like, little thing, like, their own account ID? Is that your well, Steam they ID? they did. I don't know if they still do. I was thinking about it um, no, from back when I played GF2. So is it, like, all integrated now? I think it's, yeah, now it's all integrated. I don't know if it was, I don't remember having a Valve I was just ID. remembering how bad Valve's was back when I played TF2. Yeah. Oh, I just don't yes. get games with logins when it's not, like, an online game. Or it's not a game you're playing with other people. and But you still have to set up an account to play it. Yeah, that, I mean, I, mean I, I get it. Like, yeah. I get why they do it. No, that's like, that's a good, like, that's why, why do we need to sign into these games is the question, so right? The, the reason is because they want to be able to, A, it's, it's I think, partially to make sure that, like, it's kind of connected to the all, always on, like, idea of yeah. a person games isn't, now. like, logged in or something. They're, they're basically probably trying to steal it um so it's just a way of it's a, another security check to make sure that everyone bought the game yeah mm -hmm. um but also it makes it so they have your email address and they can send you uh advertising um and it's the same reason and and moving forward coming into like um this year next year and, and even the last few years you've probably noticed a lot of websites are making you log in now oh yeah, yeah. Anytime I, um, I think, <clears throat> where was so I? So that's specifically for like a lot of a lot of uh, news sites. Yeah, that. that's what it is. Like, like I, I was going to bring up a different kind of site that makes you do that now, but then I decided it's not something we should talk about. Oh, you talk about Pornhub? You talk yes. about Pornhub? Yes. I mean, how's There's it supposed? Lots of sites that do it, and and for them. Yeah, but then you can save your favorites, reasons. and then yeah. my favorite thing on Pornhub is the is the like share button. So that's like Ooh, uh, yeah. so you could share Ooh, it to or Facebook, you can, or you can or you, the the button that is dangerously close to uh, <laughs> the the expand screen that makes it so you put it on your TV, and puts it up room. on a television. Yeah, yeah you got to be careful. <laughs> you got to be real careful, everybody. But I, I don't thinking, need. I don't even know. I, I don't I have don't any experience with this. I've, this anyway, is just what I heard. Anyway. <laughs> That, that came to oh, mind. Okay. That came to mind solely because but, of but, like some positive reasons too that you may have to log in, which is like ensuring somebody is the age they maybe should be to experience. True. Content. Yeah, but you can also lie. So, you can lie on the internet. It's, it's but, so true. But if you already have made your account, you'd have to like make a dummy email and things like that. It would be more complicated to get to that point if you already yeah. have an account, and then you would have to have it not attached to your normal things, like if you were a child trying to play a rated m game let's say without sure. mm -hmm. so there's, there's that um but the, like the data I, tracking and analytics i think is yeah is, so so and that's kind of like some of the stuff that i work on in in irl um but the reason that's happening is because cookies are get, getting deprecated like in the broader ecosystem um because people there are a lot of opinions of people that think that it was like not very privacy conscious, which I guess in a lot of ways it wasn't, but also it's kind of 
now ruining the user experience by forcing everyone to log in so that they can still track different aspects of you. <laughs> um, and so that kind of also goes over to like what, the reasons why um, gaming companies want to do that is because you, you're more you're monetizable that way. You're still targetable if you have your email address. Right. I'm sure the younger generations too are are so used to it now that it doesn't really phase them. I honestly but don't care. For, but I'm also <laughs> for like I guess people my generation and older, that's an extra step that might mean that I might just decide I don't want to play this. Yeah, there's I, I agree with that on in some occasions. I mean we all know whenever we tried to play Final Fantasy 14 as a crew and Ian just couldn't get his Oh like, yeah, because of his account. Like his, like he couldn't get his account. He couldn't log into his email. He got so fed up with it that he was just like, you know what? Never mind. I don't even play it. It was like a free weekend or something like that. I don't even want to. He was like, I don't even want to do it. I don't even want to do it. Um, well, to that point, have, have any of you ever gotten a game that you or thought you wanted to play a game, and then that has stopped you from playing the game? <laughs> you all the time every time you try to play a game your account is always messed up somehow. but <laughs> of your own accord yes it has stopped me i have a lot of qualms with this for my personal and usually life. i'm trying to play with you so it stops yeah. me it's it's <laughs> usually a i i can't get it to work in in the way ian couldn't mm -hmm. and then i get pissed off and just stop or like i'm really only trying to play it in that moment so I just I won't even bother after that because I'm like, OK, this is just too frustrating and I'll not come back to it later when I get the account fixed. Right. Because you have to wait for the email and sometimes it doesn't come immediately. And maybe you have to wait for support because you can't get the email to work, things like that. Yeah, I think that's definitely its own bucket of problems um, I see with this that I haven't played for. But have you ever just been like, I don't want to deal with it. It's not worth me playing this game, period. Uh, oh yeah, especially hmm. depending on how much information they're asking for. I'm trying to think of a time where I have gotten that frustrated with it. I can't think of a time. Well, I and I think that kind of puts the point. Although, like for me, I feel like I broke it. It's the reason I can't get in, right? I also I just have. Yeah. you did this to yourself. I also worked <laughs> in desktop support. Me. I worked in desktop support for a long time, so I'm like troubleshooter mcgee over here i'm just like ah uh, yes oh. troubleshooters <laughs> mcgee <laughs> i am i am my the best troubleshooter, troubleshooter McGuy. i'm the best troubleshooter in the world the problem is um i have no patience me no want to so then how are you the best troubleshooter in the world if you have no patience that's kind of a paradox oh i can do it for other people it's for me i'm good at it i just don't want to do it for me Got um it. but i i think that's kind of to the point of companies like probably will not worry about it because people will just do it most of the time. Most of the time. I think that's a good, I think that's a good, uh Oh, I think that's a good non sequitur to have is that it, like most of the time, because there are sometimes that like the most recent, um, like one of the big dramas that happened recently was when it held divers, um, which is a huge, which is only on PlayStation and PC. And it had this huge explosion of backlash because after the game has been out for a while, they said, oh, BT dubs, if you're using a, if you're playing on Steam, you have, you will, starting in a month, you will have to use a PlayStation Network account. Like you have to sign up for a PlayStation Network account in order to play and log in. And of course, they gave the the usual like, oh, it's it's for it's like for security, you know, it's for like tra like safety and that kind of stuff. Um, but it caused an uproar in the Helldivers community, um, so much so that the game be went from uh, very like very positive in the Steam reviews to mostly negative, and then we had and then they reversed their decision, said, oh, never mind, you don't have to do that anymore. We're good sorry and then everybody had to redo all of their reviews they had to like balance out the reviews to get it back to very positive which was pretty interesting to see like people uniformly go in and be like oh downvote it everybody downvote it so it gets negative and then whenever they fix the thing they were like okay now everybody has to go back in and then revote so we can make it positive again 
Um, I, mm-hmm. Internet mobs, yeah, do do that, yeah. Well, I think it's I think it's interesting this um, instance in particular because uh, the the like the mandatory PlayStation Network login got so much like backlash obviously because people just in general thought it was unnecessary and intrusive right that's part of the conversation for sure um and it's like well if it wasn't necessary then for all those things why is it suddenly necessary for us to have an account for those security and things like that um but it also was an issue of people buying the game in countries that don't have access to psn so they no longer could play a game that they purchased Right. Um, I think it was like, was like 177 countries, I think, was the total. Yeah, it, it's 100. That could not play it? That, yeah. that cannot access the PlayStation, PlayStation Network. Network. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> so yeah. because they can't access the PlayStation Network, now this game that they have purchased is unplayable. And eventually, you know, they were like, oh, no, yeah, we'll give you your money back for it. But like... That's like not were, what we want, though. <laughs> right. Yeah. These were people yeah. who just were enjoying the game and now had it taken from them and they can no longer play it. Um, and so that, that was like, a lot of the backlash too. Yeah, that sucks. Like that's yeah, that's not great. <laughs> that and that's and I think the CEO said it's like listen, we knew this was a thing that was going to happen and we just didn't tell anybody and I think that was their big problem was that like, oh, you didn't start out with that. They were like, oh, well we wanted to wait until we like got an initial player base and then do it. It's like mm, that was a bad that was a bad decision. Not great either. Um, but then, then of course now PlayStation has been doing a lot of stuff where they're like, oh, now you can play these games on PC. Like Ghost of Tsushima just came out on PC and you can play it. But guess what? In that 177 countries that can't access the PlayStation network, you can't play it on PC because you still need a PlayStation network ID in order to log in and play Ghost of Tsushima. So that's another one. In the immortal words of Pitbull. Another one. Another one. And another one. Um. Yeah. So uh, now we've been dealing with this for a while. Is does it have? Does it? And obviously, that instance is like okay. People all of a sudden can't play this game because it requires this thing. Are there any that you like? Does it make you mad? Are you mad? Do you get mad about this having to log into all these things? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I get frustrated uh, for sure, especially when it's like um, there'll be a game that I'm playing through Steam, but then I have to also log into that game uh, publishers page too. Like EA did that a lot, and um, some other ones. And one. I uh, have multiple email accounts. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll and also make it harder. So I'm not sure because, like, for a long time, I was using this one, and then I switched to another one that's specifically for games. But it could have been. I also. Have that. <laughs> I have like four <laughs> different ones. I have like a spam one. I have a game one. I have a professional one, and I have a um, uh, just friends a normal kind of one. <laughs> right. A regular. So, yeah, and like. So like, sometimes it's hard to remember which one goes with which. So I have to like figure that out first. Sure. For, for me, like I, it, it bothers me. Like if it wasn't a requirement at the start, but if it become, if it's at the start, like I'm kind of just like, Oh, well, this is how this is. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's just part of it. Uh, doesn't bother me too much, but like it, there have been times like with like a lot of the, like EA games. I don't know for for whatever reason the EA one bothers me the most. I don't know why. It could just be because it's EA. But um that's valid reason in my <laughs> opinion. Yeah, but like the the Ubisoft one doesn't really bother me that much. Um and that could be just because it was always how that worked. I I think EA came in later and had it. I think just, mm, maybe. I think the the thing that bothers me with and is very much what uh Carrie said, which is only it only bothers me if I have to like log into another launcher. Like if I'm and this only happens BT dubs, this only happens on PC. Like if you play on a PC, this is the only way that this happens, really, is where you go in. It's like, oh, there's a game on Xbox Game Pass. Cool. Well, you 
like I can I had to do it like I remember when I got a PS4 I, and I was like oh what's this free game called War Thunder and then I had to get like a Gaijin account or whatever it was oh that's true okay yeah. well yes no you're right um but like what I, I think I mean more of the fact that it's like okay hey I just downloaded this game on uh Xbox Game Pass cool let me open it up you open it up and then it takes you to EA Origin it's like oh BT Dubs I gotta you gotta re-download this again but on EA Origin yeah, even funny. though you just downloaded it. Um, and that's it. And then also because I'm dumb, I don't remember any of my passwords. So I always have to recover the passwords. That's the biggest. That's one of the biggest things for me, because yeah. like a good technology boy, I don't write down any of my passwords. So I'm not going to I'm not going to have it around. And then whenever I forget what it was, I just have to be like, well, recover the password and then make a new one and then. That's basically how it happens anytime I haven't played a game for like four months. And then I go I think in the, one of the most annoying ones that I ran into um, that I'm remembering right now is the Minecraft when it switched over oh, from yeah. Mojang oh, yeah. to Microsoft. Oh. I ended up have buying that game like three times because I, got, <laughs> I loved the game, but I was so annoyed because I couldn't remember my old Mojang login and it wasn't working and I couldn't recover the password for it. And then it went in Microsoft and then it switched to... The Microsoft, like how you launched it, it launches through. It's the... be, yeah, it's like not the Java up like launcher anymore. Oh, now yeah, it's like I the, the. I remember that update. And so I don't know what the login is that it's looking for, but it's acting like I don't have the game bought. And so I'm just like, I don't know. I've given up on Minecraft now. It's free if you have. Well, not free, but like if you have Game Pass, you can just play it there. Yeah, I turned on Game Pass. <laughs> I bought it. Listen, I'm actually kind of proud of myself because I bought Minecraft back in 2000 and like it was college? like yeah, it was a college. It was like 2010, 2011. Yeah, that's right. And it. and I got it for like 9 cents or whatever it was whenever he was like, "Oh, it's an alpha. It's just a dumb game about moving blocks around or building it." And Sean yeah, Scout yeah. was the one who was just like, "Oh, you should play this game." And I was like, "Okay, looks like my computer could run it." And then Spent nine cents on it and haven't. <laughs> what nine cents? Yeah, it was like it was like cheap as free. It was like a dollar or something. I don't remember. It was like so cheap. Wow. And it was like and because he was just it was just like an idea that the guy had. And then yeah, yeah. and that's it. That's yeah. wild. Um. So we we've been talking a lot about the downsides to this. Um. What are there any benefits to it? Sometimes like so. Sometimes I feel like they'll make it optional. And if that's the case, then they'll give you like free stuff if you sign up. Like, like, and it's like nothing like crazy, but like just like a an extra skin or like a like a item pack or you know what I mean. Like, mm -hmm. so, that's cool. so I can speak to that with Ragnarok specifically. Mm -hmm. um, so Ragnarok Origins, um, it like you have to have a, a Google Play account to log in, right? So there's already that login. But they would like to have your information for the data mining wow. sake, I'm sure. Um, but they politely ask you to do it. And then every weekend that you have your information filled out, they give you benefits. And it's called like weekend benefits, literally. And if you have that um, email and everything filled out, they'll give you additional stuff for the game. So that's one where I'm fine with it. It's a little different, but kind of similar. I didn't do it. There was something that they asked for that I was like, I don't want you to have that information. I don't want that. I can't remember uh, what it curious, was. I'm curious what what pieces of information were you not okay with? Well, that's what I'm saying. I can't remember uh, what it I was, but there was something. What it is uh, that they it was like asked social for. media or something. Oh, yo. I'm, well, no, no, no. That that might be something different. And that could be optional as well. There was something that I was like, no. They, I don't think everything on here is technically optional. The more information you give them, the the more they get the you. more you get the more information um, you give the more you get so they want your birthday uh gender phone number email social oh, apps yeah, and number, nickname email. but um they don't really ask for your like i I, put, I gave them my line account which is something i don't use <laughs> so i gave them that um because i had one and uh it's just a like chat app uh, that I used to use for um, Korean related games. So I don't use it anymore. And it's because I have it, I gave it to them and I get extra stuff. The only, they only require three fields, which is birthday, gender, phone number, actually. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a free 
MMO, you don't need you know, mobile MMO. You don't need my phone number. Uh, let me tell you that Hannah and I play Monopoly Go uh, on our phones. Um, I play that one. Nice. I hope I haven't stolen all of the money in your bank at any point. Because I have stolen all of the money in Casey's bank a bunch. Um, and I hope that she's not listening. Because <laughs> um, it, it popped up on my thing and I was just like, oh no, that's Casey. I think I've, I think I've, I think I've stolen all of her money. <laughs> um, the, uh, but it constantly asks you and it says like, hey, you could get 200 extra dice if you link your Facebook account. All you have to do is just link your Facebook dice. account. And I'm that's like, a that's a lot of dice. But I am not letting you on my Facebook Monopoly Go. I know I play Monopoly Go. Now all of the internet knows I play Monopoly Go. I do not yeah. want my friends and family to be harassing me about like I, I dice don't think in Monopoly that, Go. Yeah, I don't think it like most of those things like don't put like remember back in the day. Oh, oh farm like, like that. that's and, uh, why mafia, I don't mafia do wars it. Wars and stuff well, like but that, that would post for you. It doesn't do it that anymore. They don't. They, that's not. A thing. I know they it. can trick you into doing it though. There's times where like that's it'll pop what I'm up in a way where it's like. You know, oh, claim this, and then it's like pops up a Facebook window. It's like, all right, post it. You know, you want it, post it. Or like the anytime you download a new thing, and it's just like, oh, do you want us to import your contacts list to see if you have any oh, other people playing? I don't like that. And it's like, no, I don't. I don't want. I don't want people to see me playing puzzles in survival on my phone right now, just because I'm getting a bunch of yeah, gift I cards don't need to play. Dance spammed with merge gardens okay <laughs> i mean i'd be into it i did play merge mansion for a really long time so, so like, I've just been, I, so i've just been playing a game that has commercials for merge Mansion. what is that game it's just a it's just a merging like, it's the, literally the, just a merging the, game the the, the the commercials for it are ridiculous they There's are like some it's grandma great. that like goes to jail and, yeah. But like her, this woman's yes. house is on fire, so then she gets another house. And but she then has her a baby husband with that her. died yep. is apparently not dead. What the hell is this game? Yeah, it's <laughs> just it's just a merging game on your phone, and there's like some story that you can skip through and don't have to pay attention to. Uh man, it's crazy. Uh it sounds crazy. It's not crazy like, at all. <laughs> so, like from from the Ragnarok standpoint, and this is where I kind of get it in some games. They want you to link the phone number because it's a mobile game. Yeah. So they don't want to ask for the email and make it more complicated, they think, than it needs to be. They're asking for your phone number solely because they want you to say this is your account and, and not have multiple accounts. Right. Um, is really ultimately what it is instead of asking for an email address. Do, um, do you get texts and, from that number? No, not at all. Oh, no. There's no, no but then all of a sudden you're getting all these uh, weird texts from these people you don't know saying, hey. I, I get those anyways. Yeah. I was say, <laughs> I get those. Are you okay with me sending you info? Yeah, no, I, I already get those anyways. And uh, my my I got those before my number was really ever out there because it's always out there, right? And that um, number is 555. Five, five. <laughs> but uh, I'm like, pretty sure it's 8675309. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, we still true. live in that in that time where there's only seven numbers so <laughs> so i know like sometimes account linking like that is an attempt to stop botting in games or multiple accounts or <laughs> things like that that could be seen as cheating in games i think that's one attempt at a positive spin on why these accounts are required um i, I have a couple reasons that i could say are kind of positive does anyone else want to add any though before i start spewing things um, I mean, the the one positive, like if our your account gets hacked, account recovery makes account recovery that's a lot good. Easier. Mm -hmm. Um, I yes. like with the 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 more cross play and like cross platform games, like yeah. uh, again, like Honkai Star Rail. I play that, but you know what's Honkai great is that um, is that I could play it on my phone, and then I could also log it on my computer and play the exact same one. Like the exact same character, load in the exact same place, and then also log on to the PS5 and log in and do the exact same character, exact same place, because it has mm -hmm. all of that account information. So cross-platform play is good. I like that. That was going to be one of mine, too. Well, it's mine now. 
Oh, yeah, it, ah. is. That. it is. I was just saying I agree with you, Dan. I'm so well, sorry. It's mine. I didn't take mean it. to take it from you. Dan, you won this one. <laughs> right. I swear. I'm like using the pickle. We all like um, Hell yeah. Ah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, for me, um, another reason kind of on what Carrie said, except more upfront, is uh, like a dual authentication option mm. that doesn't really exist if you're going through Steam. But if like Battle.net, for instance, Carrie can talk about how like yep. much I struggled with this. Um, and she wanted to make me leadership in the guild. And honestly, if somebody hacks your account and you're a leader in WoW, you could empty the guild vault. Like it was oh snap, not ideal. Yeah, that's terrifying. <laughs> to have... I made it a requirement of my officers to have two mm -hmm. two factor authentication, though. Yes, mm -hmm. I mean someone did steal all of my Fortnite coins one time, and I was very upset. About yeah, that. somebody Aww. somebody went into my account and like deleted as like sold everything and just like sold all of my items i think i told you this one of my saddest things that has ever happened to me in a video game was my wow account got hacked and this not only did this person sell all of my stuff they deleted my pet yeah uh, i remember that the pet that you so messed up. it was like the your pet, favorite the pet, first they... pet yeah the first pet that i ever got as a hunter in mm -hmm. wow rude. Was the snow leopard named killer yep <laughs> Yeah, and and that's the thing. Like that's those, so those, rude. <laughs> they would literally they went in there and they deleted my specs. Like, why would you do that? That's not necessary. To I know. You're just steal my shit and leave. <laughs> you're, you're just being a literal bag of dicks on top of yeah. bags of dicks at this point. It's just unnecessary. That's a whole so, pile of dicks. <laughs> I hope you have a really hard time in life. Whoever did, killed my pet. yes, I, I I hope that your coffee is always cold. And Unless you want it cold, and then it, I hope it's always hot, or at least room <laughs> I, temperature. I really May want you, you to stub your toe on every coffee table. Yeah, I was gonna yes. say that, but your the pinky, pinky toe. toe. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, like, like in that way, um, I when think my... I think there is a positive there because if I if I didn't have that Battle.net authenticator, I the the amount that your accounts got hacked in that game, like it was just obscene it, it it would have been intolerable i would not have been able to play that game so that was a positive i was thinking of to these accounts okay all right cool um do do you the, i think we know the answer to this question but just kind of as like a final question do you do you think this is ever going to change are we going to change this at any point Probably not, no, right? Not, not at all. Not until we have a um, Ready Player One type environment where we do everything in a matrix. Got it. I think. I think though the that like the Helldiver experience um, may adjust the thought process or may adjust some games from requiring it. Do I think mm -hmm. it's going to go away altogether? Absolutely not. I yeah. do think that this moment may give game makers pause to think about the positives and negatives. And the fact, honestly, they're losing revenue in those countries that can't log in. That's something interesting. I think they've not fully considered because they've never missed that revenue. But now that they've seen it in that game and the implication that it can have Maybe that's something because money talks, right? Um, that may make them rethink that idea of the always connected and what are the positives and negatives to our dollar value. Um, so that's something I think may change. I think Gray just put something interesting in there that I didn't think about, and we're going to take offline. We're not going to talk about it right now, but uh, sorry to use a business term. Um, we're going to take it offline. Uh, we're going to circle back around. We're going to put a pin in it. Um, but it's the same for most media accounts now, i.e. subs for where you watch things, which is kind of, that's the way it's evolving because YouTube's been garbo and Twitch is also kind of garbo, um, with the whole paying people for and their stuff. we just got, uh, it's like, oh no, we got a copy. Oh, like, black no. screen. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Goodbye everybody. No, it's okay. Twitch knows. They just don't care. <laughs> yeah. They, they don't sure. care at all, but it's like, but that's why there's like, there have been some things like huge one critical role, just set up uh, one um, for all of their properties called beacon. Um, so now you can like sub to that to get extra stuff or things early. Well, 
I think that's more. Is that just Critical Role's content? That's just. Well, it's just. It's their at their company. So it's like. So it's like so Critical Role. It's like that actually is midst. more of a thing that Dropout led. It is. It is. Because Dropout like, did they, it, but they realized that like Dropout was like. I mean, Dropout's only five bucks a month, and you get a ton of content, and they get more money, and we get to see the content for cheaper. Right, and it's just better yeah. for for both both of us. Right, but as we said, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that offline. Um, but no, you I'm know, about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just because we're running out of time. But uh, I do just I do I will say hashtag Emmy for a uh, game changer. Um, oh yeah, you know, put it up mm-hmm. for Emmy contention. Um, cowards, and if, cowards, you won't. Is there um, uh, before we wrap up? Is there anything you wanted to add about Ghost of Tsushima? Well, just that Ghost of Tsushima is like the it's kind of like PlayStation Sony releasing it on PC uh-huh. and it's requiring a PSN network. Now, this is kind of in the part where we're already kind of like, it's like well, it's 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 from the beginning. It's like if you yep. didn't have a PlayStation network like account, you wouldn't be able to play it. You would just sign up for a free PlayStation network account. Um, But if you don't live in those 170 if you're in those 177 countries where you can't or regions where you can't play it then you can't play it but they couldn't play it already because they didn't have ps5 so it's like it it's it's like you know interesting exploration as to how people are prevented from doing something you know you know what i'm saying does it make sense yeah yeah cuz again it limits from those Right. 100 plus, uh, sorry, I don't have the exact number. I should have looked it up. 100 plus um, countries that can't use PSN. Now they can't play the game. Right. So. Which is dumb. Why would you do that? Mm-hmm. We know why they would do Someone it. Someone didn't we, we think that through. Were, were you not here for the whole episode? We talked about why. They <laughs> we just talked it. about all no, but of I it. Mean, but I mean, like. No. Yeah, like, why would you do it from yeah. a business standpoint? Yeah. I, mean, I so think that, that particular situation made. No well, I think that gets into a political discussion as to a lot of the countries where it's not allowed is or because of is it about the data like mining corporate either? stuff. It could be about data mining also. How, how financially right. lucrative would the data mining be versus being able to um, uh, give that to those other countries? Yeah, is I pretty much. I pretty publisher much... owned by PlayStation. Uh, I it might be. I think so because it well, was PlayStation exclusive. Um, so yeah, yeah. The I know when I worked really in the game industry, exclusive. um, so like there were benchmarks that you specifically had to hit, um, for a game to be on uh, PlayStation Network versus um, or like on Sony versus uh xbox versus yada yada they all have different benchmarks i don't know how that really applies to this never mind yeah. but uh <laughs> but it, it it's never. probably a contractual obligation i think that's a right. really good point that i didn't consider because it is a playstation exclusive it's probably a contractual obligation that they may have to have the account for the online from playstation as a right well it is it's sony interactive is the mm-hmm. so oh uh, easy, sucker punch easy. studio so it's like yeah it's like yeah you have to it's this uh, the same way that if you if you bought a uh, a game by Ubisoft, you would have to use a UPlay account to log in in order yeah, to. Yeah, but you can't you can't move the uh, can't move the the goalpost. It's true. Yeah, can't move the goalpost after it's already set. Unless you have yeah, enough sports. people and you start rioting. Um, sports. sports without the sports thing. Um. All right. So I was helpful. <laughs> Uh, so, Good all chat. right. If you have opinions on whether or not you should be able to, uh, s- not have to sign into a bunch of random bullshit whenever you're going into, uh, play a game, uh, then you should let us know by going to our discord bit.ly slash disco brew, uh, and telling us about it there. Yell at us, sell say all of your opinions really loud in all caps and we'll be able to see them. <laughs> um, uh, and you'll also be able to like post pictures, videos, fun ideas that you have. Uh, maybe you'll be in there one of the times when I'm just sitting in one of the chat rooms and you can talk to me for a little bit. That's, that's a cool thing. Um, I like it. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, you can do that. You can also follow all of our stuff at the game brew on all of the social media stuff. 
Um, and yeah, and if you want to listen to past episodes or this episode of the Game Group Podcast, you can uh, a week from today, most of the time. Um, if you go uh, by searching for the space game brew space podcast on all of your favorite podcasting uh, catchers, um, we're everywhere. We're popular. We're, we're so popular. Sure, uh, we're so the, popular that we're gonna have everyone have to log in. We're gonna make you log in with your game <laughs> brew account. Can I, can I see you? No, 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 no more sidebars. Uh, <laughs> Except for the, show. the only, the only sidebars we're doing right now is for plugs. Anybody have anything to plug? Allison's keeping her mouth shut. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, that, every time you say that, I, I, uh, you pucker up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, something puckers. It's not my mouth. Uh, <laughs> um, very much on game related. Um, I'm buying a tuba tomorrow. <laughs> Yay! Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Hashtag tuba <laughs> buying. Yeah, it's a fatuba. Nice, very cool, very cool. Gotta love it. So if you have tubas to sell, if Chris you is tuba, your patsy. If you have if you have tuba related comments, please come to me and Dan. Yes, we know. Uh, <laughs> um, it's all right. Someone's got a. No, we. I don't think we have that exclamation point clip thing. In it's there. fine. I'll fix it later. I, I was going to do say, don't worry. Lot. Don't worry. I put a lot of blank Slash space clip. around Chris <laughs> saying about his him puckering, and then the end of him puckering. Um, uh, yep. uh, mm-hmm. Carrie, Allison, anything to plug? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, officially. Saturday. Officially. This I Saturday? Wow. It might, it, it won't be long. Is it going to be wait, the wait. You're officially maybe streaming on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's official said. that I might be. No, 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 I am. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. I am. I um, thought I heard a maybe in there. I'm sorry. No, 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 I am. I'm officially <laughs> doing it. I, I can't promise it'll be terribly long. Um, it, it'll probably be Ragnarok Guild events and maybe something else. But um, yeah, I thought that would be fun. So I'm going to do it on Saturday because we have Guild League. So that'll be fun to watch, hopefully. Nice. nice. All right. Very cool. And then we'll as a, a crawfish uh, festival. Ooh. Or, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Not you're a festival. Going to a, you're going to a Not crawfish? Festival, a backyard crawfish boil. Oh, yeah, baby. That sounds awesome. I want to go. Can we come? Yeah, uh, can I? I hosting. Yeah, do you know what, they're, what spice they're using to cook said crawfish? Um, I'm guessing some kind of Creole, Louisiana kind of seasoning. I don't know. Okay. Just curious. Chris, Chris is a, from Baltimore, so they're an Old Bay sort of state. Yes. Uh. So I was wondering, <laughs> mayhaps you would use Old Bay. I don't know. Mayhaps I should use an oldest of bears. We're not, the we're not northerners, so we got, lack a little spice. Uh, our- <laughs> yes, we. Yes, good. Spice is good. Um, and of course, Tube Craze, Twitch.tv slash Tube Craze on Thursday nights. I uh, play Call of Duty with my brothers uh, and all of the cheaters because that's who plays Call of Duty. Um, oh, I forgot. It's Vanalia for anybody who doesn't know by chance. Um, Twitch- if you want to watch that, Twitch.tv slash V I N A L I A. That's me. Okay. All right. Uh, very cool. Um, and so with that, we are going to end the podcast. Uh, they're great. Got the pucker. Um, we're going to end the podcast the Thank way you. that we always end the podcast, which is by saying <gasps> good, good night, night everybody. everybody. everybody.